Now, next tonight, here's a question for you. How much do you spend feeding the parking meter? And how much time is wasted trying to find a space? Well, in Harrogate, digitally savvy drivers could soon be saving on both. With a new parking app, that's the first of its kind in the world. It uses sensors to find free spaces and to time exactly how long you've been parked. It's reckoned we spend, get this, £6.7 billion overpaying on parking in the United Kingdom and pay around £1.2 billion in parking fines. Well, Ian White's never been happier than at the wheel, so he's been along to find out more. It's frustrating. You're in a hurry and you need to find somewhere to park. But available spaces in Yorkshire's busy town centres can be hard to find. Like here in Harrogate. We actually have parked a little down the road because we kind of obviously know it's going to be hard inside. Uh, yes, it's a bit tough in parking. But I think the parking's put people off from coming into Harrogate, mm. Saturdays and Sundays included. All over Harrogate, 2,000 of these new sensors have started to appear in parking bays. Linked to a new app, they can show drivers live information about which spaces are available and take them straight to them. So this is really a world first where there are over 2,000 sensors battery operated with Bluetooth and they'll talk to your phone and provide you real-time availability and then when you drive off, you're only charged for the minutes you've parked. So no one else in the world, nowhere else, has got one of these? That's correct, this is a world first. It's a busy town. Uh, we get many visitors here, business and leisure visitors. Clearly they are concerned before they come, where am I going to park? Uh, and I think this new smart parking system, Appy Parking, will take some of that anxiety away from them and, and give them a, a, a good experience as far as parking is concerned when they arrive. So uh, just open up the app, <coughs> type in the location where you want to go. North Yorkshire County Council and Harrogate Borough Council have invested £45,000 each in the pilot. The app quickly found us three available spaces, but does it encourage people to fiddle with their phones when they're driving? With the highway code and the recommendations, you keep your phone in your cradle, you only touch the phone when the vehicle's stationary, and it is a parking app, so you should be parked when you're using this application. Other local authorities are watching what happens here closely, with Calderdale, the next place in Yorkshire, set to introduce this scheme. Ian White, BBC Look North, Harrogate.